door. Nope, I have it. All right, you want it? Nah, I don't have enough room. Oh, I don't have room either. All yeah, right. To the new yeah, I think. He's trying to trade me gravity for rumble. Oh, someone has dough. Rusty's trying to trade me rumble for dragon. He's on the map. Here, tell him I want spider. I'm gonna go ahead and find my stream. Just to hey, make bro, sure. Tell him, uh, just click the chat like I want to be Uh, not like that. He's offering me He's trading gravity. Tell him I want something worse than dough. Like, hell, spider. Say spider. Spidey's gonna trade with you. Spidey? Where is he? He's over there. Party. There it is. Oh, what's this kid? What? <clears throat> Going to the control room. This video is not made for kids. Oh, he started streaming. Oh, you can see it? Yep. Good. Looks good. Cool. I'm going to keep the computer away from the mic just in case there's haptic feedback. All right, excellent connection. I can't hear our voices now. Hmm. I'm gonna move the thing. Just making sure. All right, so it might be a little lag. Oh. Never mind. I can hear it. I just turned the volume on. All right, so I think we're good. What's going on, everybody? This is Super Shadow. And I'm coming at you guys with a stream of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. And with me, I got two of my friends with me. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Ultraman 65. And your boy, Ultra Beast 350. All right. And we are going to go on this weird journey together. Me, personally, I've never played through the Stanley Parable. And seeing that it got updated seven years later... Well, no, seven, eight, nine years later, I'm going to see what's going on, what's new, and hopefully we'll all have a good laugh together. Checking settings. I'm going to up the sensitivity to about eight to make sure I can just spin around fast. Subtitles. Yeah. Show subtitles. All right, we're good. Let us begin the game. The end, the end is never the end, is never the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. All right, let me go into it. Employee number 427. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a mod. All right. This office job looks boring. Yeah, it does. Bro, you don't even have the name of these? Comment point four two seven. Yeah. Well, we know he has a name. His name is Stanley. Yeah. And so it begins. I don't want to leave my office. Exactly. What if, what if I just want to 
push buttons. What if I want to sharpen my pencil? File some papers, drink my coffee. I can't pick up my co I can duck, but I can't pick up my coffee. <laughs> and maybe I'll just stare at the ceiling. Bro, the one thing about this game, bro, is unpredictable. All right, I, I guess they're not falling for it. Don't do the obvious. Do something out the box. Out the box. Oh, could it be? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Damn. What's this? Meh. All right, oh, fine. Everyone's missing. Hmm. Meh. Ha! <laughs> 420. Well. Bro, this whole place looks the same! Right? Bro, back rooms, 2.0. Bro, it's yeah. the office rooms. Oh my god. Somebody spilled coffee! Damn. Jake has no respect for his workplace. That's crazy. Okay, seriously, where is everyone? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I don't want to go to the left? Maybe I'll go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Go to the left, Stanley knew perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Cool. I'm gonna do that. There's offices everywhere. <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply is this like a horror game, game or is this like explore? It's mostly exploring. Uh. Yes, really. Ooh, really machine. Worth it being here in the room. Room so utterly captivating. I've always seen everything Even late because you two workers have mysteriously <laughs> vanished. A little bit. You sit looking at these chairs and some papers. Quite dully, but not too sincere. Yeah. Is this time even the at right this time? point? Stan's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. You don't know me. What if I just really like this room? <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll leave. But at last, we had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door the to get back to business. Yes, back to business. Ooh, what's this room? And so he detoured through the middle. Oh, where's the other employees at? Straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Mmm, but Bro, that... you're all working by yourself. But that big red button, though. You know what? I'm gonna push it. Push the button. Push the button. We're going down the elevator. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He nope. wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Um. Uh, from here, it's, um, left. Left? Okay, what if I want to go right? Okay, no. Oh, no. Oh! No, it's to the right by mistake. Okay, see, I knew it was the right. No, the no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? He doesn't even have his script in order. Uh, let's see. We went yeah. down, right, left, down, left, right. Up, down, yeah, left, okay. right, left, okay. right, yes. B, A. I've got it now. This story is uh, absolutely... Is that actually going to work? No. Nope. Especially since we're on PlayStation, not Super Nintendo. Yeah. 
Is this the only working vehicle here? What the no, heck? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick a spoiler? Spoiler alert! Forever. Somebody got fired? Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish. What a terrible guy. You might be in the unusable. How about rather than waste my time to pursue this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Oh, we just reset. Okay. Boop. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can't click anything. Bro, what does Stanley himself look like? No. Oh, wait, saw me look like. wait, did we see this area before? I don't know. I mean, we saw the back of his head. When what the... Wait, wait, what? what? No, no one has I definitely restarted the game. Why are there more doors? Everything should be... What did she do? Back rooms? Stanley. Back rooms, please. We were back in that room with all the monitors. Did you move the story somewhere? How can I move the story anywhere? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Exactly! Even you know that this is stupid. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Yay, options. Huzzah! Come, Stanley, let's find the story. Huzzah! I think this narrator has his hopes up too much. Okay, no, I there think I, I, it, this, I think I might actually be in the back rooms now. Probably. Oh, bro, wait. if I was stuck in the back rooms, bro, I would find a sledgehammer and just break down the walls. Bruh, there are no slats for us in the back rooms. There's only, uh, there's only This is the worst adventure I've ever been able to complete. Oh, God, I think it's not right. There was a story here before. I mean, well, there's nothing like coconut water. Let's try the game again. Well, I don't know how it will ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's going to be better than this. Okay, let's go to the shop. Why not? Oh, wait, what did that sign say? Okay, back from the top again. And our... Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oi. Yeah. Third time from the top, where are the doors? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Sure. Going backwards. Because I just absolutely love backtracking. Backtracking. What the heck? I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. What the heck? No, wait. Uh, Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Sorry, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here's a dead end. What? Okay. Now, now where are we? Well, I don't know if I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall whether I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Nope. Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! A winner is me, I guess. And it really paid off, so good job. A winner is me, I guess. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right you win. at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Something what did I even win? And this was not he won! The narrator's too picky. Okay. Well, I'm I'm getting weirded out Wait. Whatever this place is. Let you win I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Restarting again. Alright. <laughs> He's restarting the story. What the heck? 
All right. I've got to get out this time to make sure we don't get lost. Wait, you already got one of the endings. Of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Trademark. How is that? Did you? Okay, for the fourth time, now we have an adventure line. Adventure line? Oh, this door wasn't open before. New adventure. You just follow the adventure line. line sounds like a movie. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Wherever we end up be our destination. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Is the story of no destination still a story? Bro, you have to not follow the line, bro. Why would why would why would I not follow? It's too obvious. What the uh what? Straight from the path, bro. Straight from the path. But where? There's nowhere else to go. Go somewhere else, bro. Don't follow the path. Okay. It's not wrong there. Like when you were down the stairs, there's another way you could go. I'm going backwards, backwards, backwards. Going backwards, backwards, backwards. Go backwards down the stairs and make a turn and then it has the line. What if I want to go? No. Nope. Ooh! Can you go through that door? No, there's no other doors to go through. Alright, alright, go upstairs. Okay, no, we can't even go back down. I guess I've got no choice. Maybe there's somewhere I can stray from the path somewhere farther in. What even what? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> da -da -da. What if I wanna go this nope. Why is that on the ceiling? I don't know. Who that way? Shoot! What? Monthly ledgers, corporate imbalances, financial records. There really is nowhere else to go but follow the line. I guess you follow the path till you can't no more. Cut the music. What now? And look at that fern. What? This? Sorry, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't be Keep going till you can't go no more. Well, I can't smell the fern. Okay. Back to following the line, I guess. I keep staying till I Wait, can't what? stand what? no more. This line is killing me. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Maybe if I keep following the line? What? What the? Now we're back in the freaking monitor room again. No, I can't take this on TV. Restart. What's a lot of football on that? For the fifth time, we are going to restart. Oh, there's the adventure line again. For the fifth time, we are going to restart. You know what? I say, forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Interesting. Let's see what's in this direction. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Uh Oh no, I was right. Is there an ending to this? Don't know. Around the world oh wait, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Oh, oh come on! Stanley. 
I'd also like to veto the line for bringing any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just is there even a point to saying lion for the trademark? We already know what the lion is. There's no need to trademark it. Oh, and there it goes again. I bet it just got. I don't know. Oh! Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Yay. The story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk mm -hmm. in circles for a minute. What? Okay. okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with that counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? I don't know. The answer is clearly yes. Then, by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. What? Hold up. What's this? Hmm. The confusion hmm. ending. The confusion ending. You're not telling me. That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? I die at the end? Determined. What? What? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. again. Apparently, I after the eighth the restart, I'm supposed to die? My mind goes blank simply because of the on this, this thing. No. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I don't want it to be. I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. Yeah. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer what the? Stopped. Okay. Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Did we? Whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Am I just stuck here now? So, Probably. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite the kind sure of story that ends destiny. with my death. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if it... What? Okay, that kind of scared me. <laughs> Alright, and we're back to the beginning. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, maybe I'll just do what the game tells me and just go to the left. Bro, never do what the narrator tells you, bro. Just this one time. Fine. I guess you'll make him happy. Die. The narrator wants you dead. Single person here. He definitely does. Feeling so they literally said he disappeared. Stanley died. decided to go up to his boss's office. They died not to that office. What kind of a meeting room is this? What kind of a meeting room is this? How to solve a dispute with a co- Oh, never mind. Whatever. Hey, look, a broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. But I want to examine the broom closet. He don't want you to. There was nothing here. No choice to make, but do it anyway. Hard to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Well, I mean, there's some nice tools. We got a broom. We got a bucket. 
We got wrenches. That Stanley was still just sitting in the brew closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Nah. Up or down. Case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, what if I want to go down? I'm going to go down. Up, right? Up, down? I'm going to go down. Hmm. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Nope. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other what? strange observations. Did I just loop? Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did Dora no, I'm for sure that I just looped. Him wherever he went? And for that matter, his wow. wounds were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. Okay, yep, I'm but stuck in a loop. He came to the conclusion... And this, this how you die? He just I don't know. No words for it. I'm it dreaming! Yeah. This is all a dream. Yes, I, this must be a dream. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Stanley must, he must be a dream because he's going insane. I'll have to go back to my boring. Maybe he's just crazy. Buttons. I may as well Maybe. enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yep. So he imagined he's himself in the hospital and began to gently float. What if he is in the hospital? What the heck? I'm floating. Maybe he got a concussion. Maybe he's already in a hospital and he's just in his room having a whole breakdown. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Am I tripping right now? No. Perhaps the strangest question of them all entered the character's tripping. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Very. All, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of the world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I will How many endings did you finish? Let me go back to my. Dream. I think I only got Let one so far. Pushing the buttons. Oh, please! It's all I want. You took the most twenty, right? That's what I guessed. And my you should go against the narrator more often. Yeah, you exactly should. Well, so far it's gotten me in this predicament. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I'm still here.
Stan, he began screaming. Oh, oh Lord. Please, someone wake me okay, up. yeah, this has to be a dream. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Who's Mariella? Mariella was a day like any other. Oh. She rose, got dressed, got her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted Mariella. by the man who had stumbled through Bro, is he dead? Oh, he's gone. And then collapsed dead on he is. The he killed him. She had soon turned to go is that the narrator? Yup. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not the narrator. That's Stanley lying dead on the floor. Yo, who's the person standing over there? Apparently that's Mariella. And in that Did she kill him? She thought we got killed by Mariella. No, I'm pretty sure she just found him. I am in control. I know what it real and what is he just gonna stay dead? I think yeah, he's just dead. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. What? Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled oh, that day. The very important people Poor whose guy. impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, not as how the story is Stanley and time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. She looked at a body and then went on with the rest of her day. She looked at a body and then went on with the rest of her day. As if it were the most uh just the most normal thing in the world. Oh we're we're back to the start, okay. Alright. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? What else can I do? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now I'm interested in what I should do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Maybe this time I'll go on the right. Maybe this there was something else I could have done from this point. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Maybe. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes. Here this we are again. Room. What a beautiful room. What Don't care. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Screw you. Do, you? do not jump from the cargo for what if I want to jump jump will cause jump. The no I'm not su I'm not suicidal jump. Jump. Do it. I'm not going to let the intrusive thoughts do win it. No. Do it. no I'm not no. what circle the square aim for the square and below Trouble Island, uh, logic. Please. Yeah, jump. Don't try and oh my god! He's in control of the story, and no one gets to tell him what to do. Oh, you missed the circle! Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Bet. Well, I just killed myself for absolutely no reason. You missed. Missed what is the question? What circle was there? Let me try again. I'm going to the right. I don't care. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Back in the lounge. A work of art. Out of the lounge. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I do what I want. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Back on the left I go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I don't see a circle. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. 
Why do we even have this? Someone you forgot. Please. This lift. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. So you can jump. I'm not jumping again. Asking for who now? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. What, do I got a wife at home? Well, maybe. That's her, Stanley. You no. need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What the? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are we even have a friend? door numbered 427? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah! <laughs> Are you good? Oh, oh, come on. Did you actually <laughs> think you had a loving one? Oh! Who'd want to commit to, to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. See Come what? See. Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, no. Sorry. Oh. You're in my story now. Okay, Mr. Voice in my head. Fine, I'll play your game. Bro, do not. You need help. I'm sorry, what now? You Good. need help. No, I'm talking to the voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, employee 427. Press down. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And Why is there a chair in the middle of my bedroom door? The inconsequential nature of his because existence. no space. Please press circle. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. What the? Now he's going home. No. What happened to my couch? To work. One might even no, that's crazy. His house knows it turned into my desk. Press square. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Watch TV. And so he began to oh. fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped out from his desk to realize that all of his co workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys. I'm already spending time with the boys. Yes, sir. So, he went further. He okay. imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepared dinner. As he wandered through the ah! fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. What? And he called it the Stanley Parable. What nonsense are you telling me right now? Tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. Stanley, it's kids out. I, 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 I guess. Again, and then again, and again, over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Tell your wife you love her. Uh... What? Why? But there is no uh, is it mozzarella? In reality, I, I guess I don't have one? Whatever he was. Nothing has changed. 
The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which... Mariella is not my wife. <laughs> Press circle to go to... Am I overworked? Uh, am I overworking myself? I don't know. I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell you that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. My whole desk is here. here. He's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stop. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You gotta kick that chair. Okay, he told me not to push this button, but it's just chilling there. Push it! Push it! Bro, he told you not to do means yes. Yeah, do the Ah! just not here. Now I'm just at work. Way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? What? There is no Y button on a PlayStation controller. But I question. I question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Compelled to, I must. Perhaps. Push in nothing and do the opposite of everything. Yeah, do the opposite of everything. What the heck? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed the button. And I tried. What the heck? Oh. Uh. And Stanley pushed the button. Oh. And I tried. And that was Stanley Parable. Can I go now? You done? No, nope, guess not. Back to the beginning. <coughs> this is new. There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. New endings everywhere. Back in this crummy office. Crummy office is crazy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Get ready for the parable. Fine, I'll go to the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, let's Coming go up. The staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That I did. Hey, what's this? The executive batch room. What the? Why is there writing on the wall? I don't know. To be rich. Crazy. You can hope. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to just pick one. Who wrote that? I don't know. Someone who had way too much time on their hands. I can't. I can't even flush the toilet. Can I wash my hands? Nope, I can't even look at myself. All right. Hmm. Oh well. Whoa! Check this out. I'm gonna pretend I never saw that picture. Why? <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stan yeah, why you never saw that? Oh my gosh! Oh my god, Peter! Shot, unraveled. Where's my boss? Disbelief. Who so what's all Peter, bro? A dark secret was being held for. Oh, you're an animal. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth oh, that his Peter. boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an you guys even know what secret that is? pin. A secret pin. Um, Two, eight, four, five. I, I heard that Two, you was eight, four, Stanley four. couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five? Wait. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley Whoa. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. 
and amazing, he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Interesting. What is my boss hiding? What is my boss hiding? He's hiding a lot from you, actually. Going down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. We're going on an adventure. Stanley we go play on our trip in our favorite facility. Through the, sky, the mind control facility. Oh, great is in mind control now? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm just gonna go to the left. Although this passageway had bro, the they were abusing Poe, bro. The truth was that at the end no, of that's school, crazy. Stanley would so that one I think it was too much, bro. What they doing in this company? No. Nah, if the I see that, he's not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nope. I hope nobody's got claustrophobia. Yeah. At this point, Stanley yes. was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly. I do not like tight spaces. Dead. Who says that I'm going to die? I feel exactly. Faith really is not chosen. I do what I want. Oh, yes, oh, huh? What the? Do whatever you want. Don't let this narrator tell you what to do. This is America. We will. Oh God! I made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. I'm about to get squashed. Bro, what? Bro. You're about to get compacted. Yup. No. How did you get yourself in a compactor? I don't know. Bro, I need you to listen to the narrator. I don't know. Are you good? What the? Who's this? Stanley was obliterated. I'm gonna be honest, he does not sound good. Every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the and Stanley yet parable. Just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long what? in advance, okay. death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I've been dead from the moment I hit start? It's quite literally a layout of... From my, yeah, from my office to where I make my choice. The two doors. Filing cabinets. Office computers. Computers. <laughs> computers. Those who know the Lego. You play Lego City Undercover before? I sure did. Yes, sir. Button sounds. Love Frank, man. Frank's the best. Neat. What is this? The credits. Oh, we get the name of the guy who did the credit. Uh, the narrator. Twenty thirteen? Dang, that feels like so long ago. It does. It really does. 
By this point, Stanley Parable is 10 years old. The Lounge. Underground. What is this? Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook. Ouchie. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental Narration outtakes. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy on you. <laughs> Interesting. But now the question is, how do I get out of here? Office clock. Which just so happens to be displaying the right time. Nice. The freedom ending? How do I get that? It seems like you're just playing as an arranged office worker. Countdown desk. Ooh, button. Wait, I, 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 I didn't even get to push the button. Let me push the button. Okay. Monitor room elevator. The countdown room. What's the countdown for? Don't know. Mm. Yes. Yeah, probably. The Zending Day device. Doom's Day. I'm getting some serious portal vibes from looking at this picture. I love portal. I'm getting some serious portal vibes. Ooh, levers. Can't flip it. You always get to flip the lever, though. Ooh, levers. Can't flip it. Hey, look. There's a button in there. The escape menu. Oh, the game is now paused. Oh, so I can reset the game whenever I want. I didn't... So this is going to be like a series on your channel? Probably. Oh, what's this? Um, trailers. Four major trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. Huh. Meh, I don't care. Let's explore what the rest of this place has to offer. Let's go to the left. Oh. Meeting room. Oh. Should I remember this? Probably. Screenshot. Everything. The apartment timer. Hmm. Cargo lift. It feels like I'm walking through a museum, and I like that. Is this narrator emails we asked people to email the narrator for questions while we had initially planned to use the these further promotional materials we never found the perfect use for them interesting Oh, it's my office. The same office. But it's in beige! Bro, they put it in a containment unit. Game it's design. Museum. Game design mock up. Mock up. 
Ah, I'm back over here again. So that's where this leads. What's down here? Unfortunately, I can't run, but I can duck. Neat. Oh, what's over here? War zone. It's the war zone. We designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting fighting aliens? That sounds dope. Why? What does man do to get in contact with aliens? I have no idea. This man's like involved in everything for doing nothing. This isn't Bro, he's he's the center of the parent universe. This isn't Halo. The maintenance room. The office. And I'm back here again. I guess by this point I'll just restart the game. Uh, not this again. I guess by this point I'll just restart the game. Back in the narrator is so angry, bro. He's doing the opposite of everything. Does that actually affect him? Yes. Yeah, this dude often sense. If he says breathe air, breathe water. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> when Stanley came yes, to a set of doors, yeah. he entered the door on his left. I'm curious about that mind control room. Investigate that too. I'm curious about that mind control room. Yeah, no, 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 no matter what. Bro, are you making him angry or are you just doing what he says? I'm gonna try and make my way back to that uh, mind control facility. Stanley walked upstairs to his angry I agree with Ultra. Here's the PETA picture again. This would be easier if eventually you'll be able to share the screen with us. It would be so much easier. Because seeing this on the light is annoying. Hmm. Yeah. Found an elevator. And, uh, and, uh, no. Going down. Why do you go to the panda? Or pony. Monster. They're animals. They're animals for hurting our animals. This is quite the long elevator ride. Yes, you got a disturbed elevator. Try to cut a wire in there or something. Bruh. What if I push the button? Yes, push the button. Oh. Wait. Push that button. I'm back here again. Push the button again to get out of here. Let's push up. Oh, and we're back in it again. We're, uh... I don't know why I'm pushing it. An elevator Wait, that... You can't push it no more. A... An elevator that goes literally nowhere. Or what if you're not... Stepping uh, into his manager's sure. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication... Two, eight, eight what could four... It mean? Uh, five. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. I don't want your New Age music. I want to get on with the story. Pictures real quick. I want to see those pictures. These. No, no, turn around. Huh? Whoa! Oh, uh -huh. dirt! Yeah. 
think this was the way to the mind control facility. Going down. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sure. <clears throat> Ooh, button. The lights rose on an Have you not learned your lesson with buttons in this area? What horrible secret did this You should just not listen to that generator at all. Just like completely did he have disregard it. To find out. I do has the strength to find out. I mean, technically, we've already been here. A camera button? Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's How many employees were actually here? Of so many individuals I am not sure. Screen. And where's mine? Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That's where mine would be. Interesting. Hmm. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to be bond. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I guess so. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. Now, how would I go about doing that? There's a button up here. That did nothing. Whoa. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Do I turn it on or off? <clears throat> no. Guess I turned it off. And the rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? It's all dark! <laughs> yep. I literally cannot see a thing. <laughs> Whoa! He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his character <laughs> How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did the strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into Bro, the chamber, I think they got sent to the shadow realm. None of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. 
Perhaps his goal had not been to ask him of imagination. but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he used, it would have been his, and that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. The thing! You're almost free! free. Upon his skin, the feeling Whoa. of liberation, the immense possibility of you new found power. the new world. This was exactly <laughs> the way. Right now, the things were sure. Made to if we're goofy, wait. And Stanley was happy. And then Wolf comes and eats your arm. Ha. What? Yay! I beat the game. So you <laughs> think? Got my first trophy. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. I think the narrator knows exactly what's going on here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I wonder what would happen if I tried to turn it on instead of off. Wait, were you getting mind control the whole time? No, at this point the controls were idle. I'm wondering what would happen if I decided to turn it on. Stanley decided to go up to his box into a staircase. Well, no, I would be in control, I think. Control the narrator and tell him to do your bidding. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what's really going on in this place. Then why was the panda about to get killed? Oh, my goodness, they're off. Kill Supreme. <laughs> okay, so the the narrator knows we've been through this already. Going down again. Going down to the back room. Oh my gosh! What? Straight ahead through the large door that read Mind oh, Control. Oh, this is mega creepy, bro. Where are the jump scares at? I don't I know don't if they're. This is that type of game, bro. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yep. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I do. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Okay. Two people got one. Enter the thick of it. Yup. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. And Stanley, one of the people who in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Alright. No way, ma'am. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Oh, hey there, Wilbur Suit. Welcome to the stream. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yeah. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? All right, we're back. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of this thunder, thunder, thunder. Stan decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I cut my arm. Shoot! Dang. What happened? Uh, something cut my arm. You good? Like in real life? Yes. It's not that bad, though. I'm going to decide to turn this thing on. Oh, yes. Yeah. You didn't just act 
activate the control. Her, dude. Oh, 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 if you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. And All right. You don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. What? Dominating the entire complex. What? This whole place is going to explode? Whoa! Two minutes! It's your time to shine. You are the star. You born again, lawless liberty! You got one minute! Better than what I had in mind. Bro, you got it. Bro, you stay around! Get out! Until the bomb goes off. Oh my god. Incorrect. Run for the hills. Run for it. Where to start? <laughs> What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll what? Tell you exactly Fail safe. It's not working. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying. And we'll try. Other times, I let people show me the shoulder thing. Swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I'll take it out of This version of events has been rather amusing. What should you try to make sense Duh. of everything and take back the control of right, the rest of the you? It's quite rich. I almost hate to see it. I'm gonna die in 42 I'm seconds. Sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be Bruh. even better. My goodness, I need 34 this is too left. But I'm enjoying this so much. much. Ah. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra... A purple two. Not my fault. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? No! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that some three attempts remaining is capable of turning it off? I don't mean, look at you. Running Bro, you're going to die! Bro, I can't do anything! Bro, escape! I'm trying! Good luck! Or maybe this big red it says push a purple too? Everything, anything, something here will save me. Oh wait! It went up! So I must be doing something right. Let's see. D uh, two. Purple. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't the catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just incorrect. You're only still watching a cup scene. A purple three or a blue three. What did I see in the number three over here? This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You want Forget to you. This world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So I push the number three. Take a look at what? The that's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 30 seconds until a big boom and then... No, I do what I want. Yeah, I don't want to tell you what to do. Enable backup power to activate. What? Where's the backup power? Oh god, I'm going to die. Oh. Dang. Was there really anything I could have done? Sheesh. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, what else is there to do Stanley from here? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, sure. New content! This door was definitely not here before. Oh, 
New content? Yes. What does that mean? New content. Well, let's find out. We... Okay. This is definitely new. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. What? As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. What in the world? Game Factory? The Stanley Parable. PC Stanley Parable. Features exciting new content that broadens I don't the even. The world of the Stanley Parable. Oh, oh man, what is that? Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures are. It's giving you content. Yeah, crazy. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Uh, I'm really excited to see the thrilling new yeah. Ultra Deluxe content. Same random words. New content. Oh, All right, let's see what this place has to offer. So far, it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Uh, um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. Okay, we're... Okay. At long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> Say initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's mm. as if I'm... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, oh. Stanley. For the content! What? Alright. Alright, let's see. The jump circle? The jump circle? Hey guys, I gotta go for right now, but I'll be back. Oh, okay, I'll see ya. Okay. What I gotta do won't take too long. Um, Alright. Since when can I jump? I guess it's just me and you now, bro. Dang. I'm just jumping. Okay. That was something. Is, is, is that, that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm going to explore every aspect of this. There's another hallway, so there's bound to be something new. Another elevator, yay. Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Nope. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So what do you think this game? Thousand hours of new content. Pretty decent. And if, oh, wait. There's more. Oh. Very good. Yes. How many endings have you unlocked? So far, I think three. Okay. What's with this bridge? Thank you for enjoying the new con content. Are you kidding me? You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's trophies, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test trophy, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. 
I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh, you didn't even give me a choice. What the heck? Well, I know this is my office, but I know that this is not the outside of my office. Um, you know what, man? I think I'm gonna head out too. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna be back soon. Yeah. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. We're slinking through the vent. Woo! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developer Whoa. won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Am I about to go to Narnia? I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Huh? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap PlayStation port? <coughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Huh. He even posted the website on here. That's crazy. What is this, a gift shop? Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. Hmm. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. Huh. Go outside, don't play for five years. It is impossible to get this achievement. Are those actual achievements? Somebody let me know in the comments. New video game released today for the New York Times. Yay. Oh, and there's the ending we got earlier. Oh, we're back outside. What if I just want to... Oh, I can't even sit down? <gasps> no! Not little Stanley! No! Oh, he's so cute! Is there a piano up there? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every, every game, game ever created. created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. 
It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. What it's even? A husk, man. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Huh. Interesting. What's down here? Memory zone maintenance. Is that Minecraft? What the heck? Look at all those buttons I can't push. Oh, it's me and Mariella. Neat. The greatest wealth is memory. Interesting. Really cool to just be able to explore this like this. Moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine is this just reviews the ending? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the PlayStation, boom, done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Meh. It looks like there's something back there, but I can't get to it. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back mm. to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Hmm? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, God, no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gap, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Unfunny?! I'm oh. a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights huh. that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay. Feels like I'm in a war zone. Well, I guess this is where the new content is. Feels like I'm in Fallout, I think. A door? Nah. I see a door and I want to click it. What's this? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea of the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? No. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I always, well, to be honest, I have always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What am I even doing here? And this is just too much to say. 
You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think you can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the standing Whoa. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer standing. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Our quest for the skip button. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story, and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten. Okay. What? Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or... Maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you... M <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But yep. that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go, poof, and it's all over. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their pressurized gas review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on how exactly pressurized gas works. Perhaps that would have been a smart thing to check on before I went on about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is who runs pressurized gas will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this... Skip! Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 what? minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? I don't know. The door that led into this room? I don't feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button. To go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? 
I don't know what happened to the door, but I don't think it's here anymore. Ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. I, we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door, as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I, I'm going to step away for just a moment. And I'm going to try to find us a door. Yeah, you do that. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, what if please, I'm... please do not press the skip button. Just wait here, wait here for me, and don't press the skip button. Got it? Yes, good. I'll be right back. Wait, don't leave me here! And he's gone. So now the question becomes, do I wait here and see if anything happens, or do I make something happen? I feel like if I push this button, we're going to end up in a blank room. Skip. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 hours? It's just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here, and more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. Well, I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it, and I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? Because I don't know what else to do. And I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. This Why isn't about negative feedback. It's about survival. Problem. Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I had no idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken. If only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. But there's such an impulse, sir. For whose benefit is this? Here Forget it, skip. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. What the oh, heck? Goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. How did we go from 12 hours to a week? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? <clears throat> Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same in all ways? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But yes. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. <clears throat> it was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not vessel? The outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. 
I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the You sure love to ramble on, don't you? But I'm kind of scared of pushing this button again. That I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed. Skip. And, I... and now there's nothing. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. A year? Down in one place and not move for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I could only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no skip. Am I just stuck here? And there's the button again. I wonder if he's dead. Skip. Huh? What the heck is that beeping? Hmm, something new? No, it's getting farther away. Hmm. Where could that beeping be coming from? Is the beeping coming from the button? I don't see anything else that could... I don't know. Clock fell off the wall. <clears throat> it's no longer working. Plant's long dead. There's nothing behind this wall, and I can't touch the ceiling. Guess nothing else to do but push the button. But they didn't understand ah! the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can be. So, we're, so we're just right back to the rambling, huh? And seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We 
you want all of this in the new Stanley Parable? We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment... Okay, I'm kind of scared to push the skip button again. We would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding... Skip! Oh, he's gone again. Hmm. Once again, it's nothing back there. Now I'm just stuck in a room. Trying to push it again. The end is never the end is never the what end. What the is never the end 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 is never the end. Okay, I'm beyond creeped out now. Okay, now it's looping. Yep, I am pretty sure I'm stuck here. Skip. What the heck? The whole room is deteriorating now. I wonder exactly how much further the room would deteriorate if I just keep pressing the skip button. Huh? Is that the light? At last I see the light. It's as if the fog is lifted. But I, uh, I can't get up there. Let me push it one more time, see what happens. Oh, now there's greenery here. There's an outside. This is something I didn't expect to happen. I wonder. Oh. What happened to the greenery? Oh. It must be nighttime outside. Pressing it again. I don't like the sound of that noise. Guys, if any of you are there, I feel like I need an adult. Guys, if any of you are there, I feel like I need an adult. And great.
The whole room is lo Wait. I can't push the button anymore, but I can finally leave. What the? What happened? Suddenly, Uncharted 3. I wonder exactly how long it's been. It just reset itself. <clears throat> well, I wonder what else is there to do. Yo. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I've I've just been running around in silence for like the past five minutes. My god. How wonderful. Stanley oh. was alone. Finally. This, this is new. He thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. That he definitely didn't say that before. that means is there something going on with the computers no matter how hard Stanley looked Are you he done? couldn't find a trace of his co did you figure out the secrets I found new content and I ended up in a, a wasteland in a wasteland New new content. Do I want to go back in there? Do you? Screenshot. That is the question. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You got something exciting to show me. Don't let it be a trap. We're back to the elevator? Sure. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Huh? Which is why I am very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The Stanley Parable 2. The end is never the end again. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Hmm.
Interesting. There are hints of red to all the white. New content is out. New content part two is in. Okay. It's just like they're, they're Google Notes. This looks like my laptop. Almost one to one. To Stanley? What would the second Stanley be doing? What if it was two player? I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Hmm. Interesting. This way to the show floor. Hello out there. Hello out there. Hmm. Whoop. Here we go. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Huh. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Interesting. For the Stanley Parable 2, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Try it here. Okay, let's see if you know my name. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget who the you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Okay. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature Jim. in Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much gym. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose all Yo, sense yeah. of who you actually are. Oh, hey. <clears throat> Apparently, I am now Jim. Apparently, you're. Apparently, I am now Jim. Yep. 
I suppose I could have the only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of what? finishing this feature. Wait, what? You are apparently what? Apparently, I am Jim now. Jim? Yep. How'd you go from Stanley to Jim? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Were you always Jim or were you uh, change people? Maybe. I, I didn't change. I, I guess the guy just started calling me Jim. I was good, Jim. The reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it How was many confusing endings you got and paradoxical. I think this is the fifth. It engendered a chaotic sense of darkness to spare in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Why do I need a bucket? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. What? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay, so Does now I have a bucket. Award for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Okay, but what's through here? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Hmm. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy oh. 12th birthday, step niece it is. But that that's not the button I picked. Maybe I should have gone with No. No, I've made my decision, we're moving on. Come on. You've already made your choice. It's but true it's... that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. What are you talking about? Free new and easy trophy. I can't believe it's that simple. Free trophy, get yours now. Pull the lever, receive your trophy, no more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test trophy that you <coughs> left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the trophy. Yes, you see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the trophy will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Really? Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the trophy is still fully broken. I'm oh. a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. But I want my trophy. What, you don't get a trophy? No, the freaking game lied to me. 
that's funny. I honestly thought that I would get a trophy just by pulling the lever, but the lever doesn't even what work. Else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Collectibles? Well, guess it couldn't hurt to find out. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Cool. Yay? Okay. I got a collectible trophy. It really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Can't leave yet. Expo Hall 2. Oh, that's where I am. There's an infinite hole. It won't end. Well, Apparently there's an infinite hole somewhere. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> A hole to infinity. And beyond. And beyond. Yep. Infinity. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Huh. Well, I can't drop the bucket, so I guess I might as well just fall down the hole. We. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue on. Oh. Great. Now, oh. I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, wait, I want to jump down the hole again. We... Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh! Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. You lied to me again. Actually, wants to fall forever. The hole is plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. Now you're gonna blame it on me? Uh, things got a little heated there. I think I'm we should see that now. Did it me. Why don't we just put well, I fell into a hole twice, and apparently the infinite hole is not very infinite. It's what? It's not an infinite hole. To walk up to the top of the hill um. and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. It's not an infinite hole. But what if I want to fall down the hole again? Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. What? Normal. A normal person. Would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Uh. Oh. Did the hole seem 
even shorter to you this time. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hill. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Okay. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. No, I'm gonna go back down. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Yay. Start to become a thing with Okay, now it's even shorter. I am starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less, less and less, less infinite. infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Okay. Well, there it is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Well, how is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Okay. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? Nope. You sure? Yes. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of the hole. Okay, now I'm stuck in a hole. Bro, what is it with you and getting stuck in holes? Uh, I don't know. Okay, now, but what the heck am I supposed to do? I can't pop out. Wait, we're going down. Maybe the hole really is infinite. Weird. We're slowly sinking down the hole. Change perspective. At least we can see what Stanley looks like now. Oh, he ugly up close. <laughs> Change perception? Oh, now we got funky. <laughs> Better be glad he wasn't here to hear that. Oh, now we got funky music to go along with going down the hole. <laughs> Change your reality. Weird.
Aww, little puppies! Look at them! Change yourself. What? I'm now a computer guy. Ooh, space. <laughs> I'm now upside down. Just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss <coughs> a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be there. Toodle -toodle. Or you can just let me out. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking to the narrator guy. Just let me out. What do you do now? Oh, and now the game reset. Oh, yeah. What do you do now? Oh, and now the game reset. Oh, we're back in the Here hall. Go on, try out some of the new features. Okay, what did I not try yet? Epilogue. Epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes. We'll go at the end of the. Um, well, we'll figure that out later. Hmm. I guess. What else is there to see? <laughs> the mostly infinite hall. Hole. Settings World Champion. I can't even go through the door. Bro. What? I'm playing block streaks. I, I just figured out I can make I can make acid rain. Huh. Neat. I take my cloud and I just have to put it in the sky and then it just drops acid. That's cool. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. How many likes do you have in the video or the stream? I got two. How many likes do you have? I wonder what else is there to see. Is there literally nothing else to look at? I mean, you take me to a door, and I can't even go through the door. Who is the setting's world champion? I at least want to know that. The mostly in an infinite hole.
Oh, it's closed. Well, I'm walking around with a bucket. And I can literally do nothing else. Hmm. Nope, oh, you are still here. I think I may have checked out just about everything. Except I can't leave. Oh wait, yes I can. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Mm-hmm. What's this? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Sure. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version 2. What? <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley what? Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Hmm. The Stanley Parable Two. Well, the title screen seems completely different. Wait, what's the Stanley Parable 2? Apparently the narrator Yeah, the narrator just, like, whipped up something completely different. Interesting. How many endings you got now? I think that makes six. How many are there in total? I don't know. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. 
Orders came to him through a monitor of a desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so painful, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for his job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Well, actually, now might be a good time to stop. Because there's so much more of this game I haven't discovered yet, and I don't want to do it all in one video. That's fair. So for those of you guys that have, that have been with me so far, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next stream. See ya. <laughs> the sequel is now paused. I wonder if I go back to the menu, it'll go back to the re real game. The sequel is now paused. I wonder if I go back to the menu. Are you trying to play Box Streets? I mean, I guess I could. Alright, come on, hop on. Let me just end the broadcast.